hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel Emiriki stitches it's been a while guys we're back and we're back to save you and give you more interesting topics than what you've already gained we promise it to be enticing and you learn more than what you've learned before please don't fail to subscribe and don't fail to recommend your friend recommend it share the videos and also click on the notification button to be notified whenever we post a video today i'm going to illustrate and um, on the dress you see there on the thumbnail and um, the off shoulder and um, free dress that you've seen there with you've seen where the sleeve is so here is the measurement required the full length half length shape hips line hips shoulder round shoulder and the upper bust and here's the fabric we're going to use this is for the inner and this is the main lace with the main fabric we're going to use this for the inner so while cutting i'm going to start first with the inner since my client has a nips of 50 i'm using two half yarn fabric and as you can see after cutting on the inner that's when i will use to place on the lace to bring it out so please stay tuned and watch and like i said i'm going to start with the folding of the fabric First, I'll fold it into two equal parts because I'm bringing out the front and the back same. And I'll now fold it again into four. And I'll place it without zipper allowance. I fold it into four equal parts. And I'll place it to start inserting my measurements. So this place was not well with it, so I'm going to trim it out. All my measurements will start from where you see as you can see the, from the folding we have cut here then this other side there is no cut it's just the normal and um, this thing folding there's no cut they're all joined while this other side has a cut i'm going to mark this place out first so that i will trim it out because it's not equal then the next step i'm going to take is to take out my full length and i'll place the tape mark out my full length the full length here was 60 and we've seen here already this is 60 now the fabric the lace i'm going to put will now complete the extension because as you can see here it's exactly 60 so my client wants it to be full till the down part so i'm taking the 60 any extra this thing i'm going to add extra two inches on the lace when i'm cutting then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark out my the shoulder the shoulder here is 16. I mark shoulder 16. 16 divided by 2, we have 8. Then from the 8, I'll mark my arm O. Our hips here, no, sorry, our bust is 52. I'm going to mark out our arm O. Um, here we won't have arm O, but I'm just, there will be arm O, but I'm just inserting it here. It will come at the extent, shoulder extension. But let me just insert so that I can have other, we can draft out other of the, this thing. So I'll be taking 12 for arm O. I'll connect. And um, a bust. Sorry, like I said, the measurement is supposed to start from this side to this other side. So if this is our eight, hopefully, add. This thing will be drawn towards the other side. The arm O will be drawn towards this knot here. That is for the arm O line. Then the next line we're going to shoot set here and insert here is um, the half length, which is what? 18. The half length here is 18. And we now have um, another line there, which is the hips line. Which is 26. Half 26. Then, on the line of the arm, arm hole, I'm going to mark out the bust here on the chest line here without putting the nipple points line because there will be no data. That's why I'm not fixing that. So, on the chest line here, since her bust is 52, 52 divided by 4. We have them. Um, this is 12 half 50. 52 will be 13. 13. Then I'll come in here with two half inches. 
she asked me to put allowance so i would have put two but i'm putting more so she required for more so then for her bust i'm sorry her shape is 47 47 divided by 4 we have 11 half quarter that's 44 46 and then 47 and i'll still come in here by two half inches then on our hips our hips here is 50 so which is 12 half and i'll still come in here with two half inches two half inches and i'll connect the line by rounding this first and there'll be a slip line here then i'll connect the lines And I'll take out the M, draw the line straight down to the M. We have the M from this endeavor to use a straight ruler. Please, in this case, draw use a straight ruler to draw this. And she really wants the down to be. She doesn't want it tight. Use a straight ruler to have this. That is it. Then we, I'm going to extend now. Extend the shoulder as it's supposed to be. Remember, uh, normal shoulder here is 18. And as you can see in that picture, there's an extension of shoulder. With what we have here, as you can see, is um, an off shoulder, not even canonic because it's more, it's the it's out from her shoulder initial shoulder which supposed to be so it's a little bit dropping so at this point i'm going to off take off four take out four sorry from here there's the four i'm taking out now then i'll now still extend before i'll extend it out by four inches this is by four inches here I've already taken out four up here and I extend here still by four inches. Then I will slant it still yet by five inches. So I'll connect it. Then from there, from the arm hole we have here, I'm going to take out a new hamble as you can see. That's from the five year. Take out another one to five half to form. We have sorry, we have something of this nature from here to here. It actually comes out. You see the neckline. See where the shoulder is and the arm. Um, oh, I can decide to drop more than this so she can have free access because i noticed this might not accommodate a hand and you can see the extension has taken even up to her uh, ankle here her ankle so you're going to take it make it deeper try to accommodate so like i said you take up four here then after taking off four you mark out your four remember we drafted and on shoulder whereas it's supposed to have been off shoulder because i wanted you to have a better understanding then i walk by four because it's not really that exposed up here so then after drafting taking by four often before taking out the four which is i'm going to try to form the off shoulder now which also save as the neckline now i'm going to take out from the arm o i'll take out two here extend it sorry by two inches then on the two inches line i'm going to still Take it slantly. Take slantly. I'll take five half here for that's for the shoulder to form a new shoulder extension to close the shoulder as you can see. Then from the five half there, from the five half there now from the arm O where the arm O like this is what I'm trying to see. 
this place already forms here while the arm oh yeah see it, it takes out which is here then before the main bodies of the fabric so this is it as you can see so that is all so i'm going to cut it out now So this is for the inner, please don't forget. It's actually for the inner. So I'm going to use this inner to cut the main fabric. This is for the inner. So wait, it's gonna be. I'm going to use this to form out the um, the main this thing. So let's start to work. I'm going to open up the lace. The lace here, you have to use the border down on the other up. I notice it's not up to 60 inches, it's very, very short in length. So I have to turn it this other way so the border will be by the side while we bend it down. The main lace is not up to 60 inches. Like, and my client's length here, yeah, full length here, yeah, is 60. Let's confirm that. It's only 53, not up to 60. So you're going to turn the fabric so it can accommodate that length. Okay, this is, I've placed it, I've folded my fabric and then place you see the extension of the bending. Like I said, since the lace is not accommodated, I have to use the pod. For the to this use it turn it to the side so while i use this for the down part now i've placed this i have saved my the inner save as pattern i've placed it inside now so as to bring out the main work so at this point i'm going to withdraw what i did here and as such since the, this is going to save as an inner and we are expecting to have that drip we saw there so i'm going to still extend this more than what i did here we're going to have more extension more than what we had on the on the pattern then we bring out the arm hole see what i'm doing so we could have here should be longer than what we have here already so if i are taking here to be I have I'm going to take more than that and use up to eight in which we have to gather it. You've seen already gather that place to make sure you have like up to four. Then the arm will proper because it's coming out like a trip. Is how it's gonna be. So here is going to when I join it, I'm going to drape it going to drape in. So I'm not going to cut that out. I'll cut it now. Let's confirm it, make sure I have two inches. Two inches from here.
is what we have. And earlier I lift it up, this other side will trip to this side. So let's watch what I've just done. This is what we have. When lifting up, lift up, you need to have a small drip by the side. This is how it's going to look like. So, sorry, this thing is dropped down. It's going to look like this. This is where the arm will be on. This is the shoulder, and this is the arm hole. You form a little drip, not just just one side. And not the client is fatter, extra fat than myself. But this is where the side will form. Because I really want to make use of the powder that we can have a drip here. And well, the neckline maintains. And see where the shoulder now comes. And this is how it will look like. I'm going to use this one that I've pulled out. Oh, I wish there was a shoe so I can join it so we can see the out, the final thing of it. I'm going to use this one I just brought out to place it on the lace to bring out the second of it because this is only for the front piece. On the same one, I'm going to place the front to the back. I'm going to trim it out as well. Now this is going to still give us issue. To take off the body. This is going to be shaped by the sides. So there's only of this body. So we'll just cut it to use and complete the down part instead of bending. We use the butter to form the down part. So this is what we have. And hold it. You notice a little drip. Is how the sleeve is going to be. Is where the shoulder is. Is where the arm hole is. And here you drop. A little bit after swing we still have a picture of this way you could understand better so this is gonna be now this is the neckline is where the extension of the shoulder is in which we're going to gather it small so that we will have bring this arm over up a little bit okay. then we now close the side by forming a little bit drape here and that's all for it Please, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, don't fail to um, subscribe and don't also fail to comment on the comment section so that we can know how to save you better. Then also click on the notification button. Thank you very much.